What's up guys, welcome back to Card Spot. This is a monumentous day. This is the 1000 subscriber special. This is the culmination of a, of a dream come true for me, not to get too sappy, but uh, this has been a lot of uh, late nights and, and early starts and editing and recording and, and you know, blood, sweat and tears um, to follow my dream. Um, and we've made it to a thousand subscribers, which is a huge milestone, uh, for me personally. Um, that's just, yeah, it's crazy. And so obviously a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed, watched, commented, liked, shared, whatever it is that you've done. It's just huge to me. It, it's, I don't even have the words to express. It's, it means, it means everything. Uh, and I, uh, really appreciate you guys. So I've tried to put together a pretty cool video to celebrate 1,000 subscribers. And what better way to do it than to open some packs? That's how we got here. That is the bread and butter of the Cardspot channel. So let's kick it off today. I've got some OTS packs. We've got some OTS 24, some 23, some 22. But that's not quite enough, is it? There's what, 12, 13 packs here or whatever? 12, 12 loose packs. That's maybe an ulti, if we're lucky. So I've got some more packs to open. So I've got us a sealed box of OTS 17, which is, of course, the set that has the ultimate rare, infinite, and permanence in it, which is awesome. But we're not stopping there. We've also got, oh, you can't see it. There we go. A sealed box of OTS 18. We've also got a sealed box, this one's awkwardly on the corner, of OTS 19. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do another. We've got OTS 20 as well. You still want more? Okay, all right, I got you. We got OTS 22 also. That is five sealed boxes of OTS packs plus. And I am super excited for this. This is the grand finale. Once we make it through all those packs, I know I'm, I'm burbling, but this is going to be worth it, trust me. I have for you some 18-year-old packs. We have the Ultimate Edition 2. We were including a sealed copy of Dragon Master Knight and two sealed boosters of Dark Revelation Volume 3, which released in 2006 and includes some really awesome cards like Ancient Gear Golem, The Creator, uh, Elemental Hero Flame Wingman, Thunder Giant, crazy cards. So if this all sounds like a bit of you, get yourself a drink, some popcorn or a snack, sit back and relax because this is probably going to be a long one. Let's open some ultis and some old packs. Okay, so first off we're going to start with the loose packs. Uh, we'll go 22 to 24, we'll pop those over on the side there. All right, let's see if we can start the video off strong with some ultis out of our loose OTS packs. Uh, and no, not so far, but that's okay. Guys, what a journey it has been. I am absolutely just honored to even be making this video. Uh, it is, it's crazy to me. 1,000 people have subscribed to my channel. Little old me from New Zealand out here making some, some fun videos. And uh, it's something that I really enjoy doing and it's just amazing to me that it's resonated with you guys and that you enjoy watching it. So, uh, so far, nothing out of these loose packs, but that's okay. The loose packs are just a bit of fun. Uh, just a collection of entry packs from myself and some mates uh, from our locals. But with the boxes, we should be at least getting two ultis per box. So we will be pulling at least 10 ultis in this video. <laughs> All going well. I believe the ratio of ultis in uh, OTS packs is one per every 17 packs. Uh, so each box is 50 packs, so it's just slightly under uh, three per box. Um, so in which case, you know, we, we'll at least get two, maybe in some of the boxes we'll get three. Um, so there's some huge ulties that we're going to be looking out for. Uh, we've got the Pearl Leap. Uh, of course, 
The Infinite and Permanence is a pretty big one. Uh, we've got Zeus as an option. There's Triple Tactics Thrust. So some huge ulties. Hey, I actually need this card, so that's cool. <laughs> From my Ubel deck. Yeah, huge opportunities at some really big cards. So uh, yeah, let's, let's see what we can get. Wave, High King Caesar. Of course, a very expensive card when that was not reprinted. All right, what have we got? We got the Metaspector Tornado, Metaspector Tempest, and another Shabara. That's unfortunately limited, so I only need one. All right, our last loose pack of OTS24. Can we get something nice out of here? It's Unchained Twins Aruha. Okay, so we're going to go through the OTS boxes, kind of an order of cool stuff that we can pull. Um, so the first one is going to be on the corner there, OTS20. So the ulties in OTS20 are Aluba, the Jester of Despia, uh, Sky Striker, Ace Ray, and Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. So we've got 50 packs here. I'm just going to try and stand them up a little bit in the, in the corner, but they are not wanting to behave themselves. We'll just have to quickly start opening them. <laughs> This is uh, by far the most OTS packs uh, I've ever opened in a video. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Oh, right off the bat, we've got a Sky Striker Ace Ray. Huge. Well, not really huge, but it's an ulti. It's, uh, it's an ulti, and it's actually, I think this is the set where the centering is really bad. Um, and it had a lot of, like, foil, mis misplaced foiling and stuff like that. So, you can kind of see on here... You can kind of see on here, just on the line there. It's not terrible. Um, yeah, the foil shift is not not unbearable. So there's our first ulti out of our first pack. Uh, <laughs> so we are on a roll, ladies and gentlemen. We are well and truly in it here. We got the Nico Main King. <sighs> so 1,000 subscribers. I, I don't even know how many videos. It's it's I think around 130 videos. Um, and, uh, what a, what a time it's been. We started in the end of 2021 with the release of Burst of Destiny, which I believe was the November, um, pack for that year. And we opened two boxes of Burst of Destiny. And then right after that, we opened a display of, uh, Maximum Gold. Uh, it might've been El Dorado, I think. Um, yeah, if I recall correctly, it was El Dorado. And uh, that was what started us on this journey. And, and here we are now, still going strong, two and a bit years later, basically. So, yeah, it's been a, it's been a wild ride. It's been, um, it's been a lot of work. It's been a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, just super grateful to everyone who's tuned in throughout that time and... Um, or bought cards from the Cardspot website that's helped support me then being able to buy more packs to open, particularly expensive packs like these. And uh, yeah, it's <laughs> it's just a big thank you. And so hopefully this video uh, can show my gratitude uh, in, the, in the types of packs that we're opening because OTS packs, particularly in New Zealand, are very hard to come by. Um, Typically, you know, everyone who wins OTS pack boxes wants to open them. Um, they're, they're pretty hard to find. So, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty lucky to have five different sets to open here today. And then, to top it all off, we have the huge 18-year-old packs. Just a, as a little, little icing on top of the cake for the end of the video. Uh, so, you know. So, the best card in this set... Currently going off uh, TCG player values is uh, looking like Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, but they're all actually kind of the similar price points. Yeah, it's it's kind of interesting. This set seems to be pretty low, and I do wonder if it was the print quality issues that were around in this time for the Ultimate Res. Like I remember, I I remember I had an Aluba that I got in a collection that was just atrocious. The foil foil shift was all over the place so yeah i assume that has played a part in 
Ugh, come on, hurting the value of the set. It's weird opening such thin packs. Uh, you know, the, the packs are normally reasonably thick with nine cards per pack, but these are just three cards per pack, so it's really testing my pack opening skills, which, you know, after two and a bit years, two and a half years, uh, should be better than, <laughs> than they are, but that's okay. Uh, the Common Dweller is nice in this set. Um, some of the supers are a bit whack, like the, the Morphtronics ones and the Ninja ones, uh, but Herald of Orange Light is pretty good, actually. That's that's kind of nice. Nico Main King is a good reprint as well for like GOAT format, or when whenever Dark World decide they want to play Card Destruction or Dark World Dealings or whatever. Oh, we got a Grave. That's a that's another pretty decent reprint as well. I remember before this set came out, Grave of the Super Ancient Organism was like loads of money, actually. I think it was just a common, maybe? Um, so, yeah. I am a big fan of OTS packs. I, I think what they... Oh, jeez. What they do for the community is really good. You know, you get the opportunity to get some... Ooh, I think I saw an indent on this one. We might, we might have an ulti here. Um, hopefully it's Winter Cherries. That would be the one that I personally would want the most. Oh no, it's another Ray. Okay, interesting. I didn't know that we could get multiples of the same one. Um, but that's all right. The Sky Striker fans out there will, will enjoy that. This one, I think the foiling is a bit better on this one, honestly, uh, compared to, compared to the other one. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, but okay, so two, two rays. Um, we've still got a fair few packs to go. Does that mean we're just done, or does that mean that we've got a more a third ulti in this box? Um, but yeah, I can't I can't remember what I was saying. <laughs> um, also, forgive me if my voice starts to sound croaky or whatever, because this will be a long video. Uh, I am still recovering from having the big old Rona, the big COVID. Um, and so my my voice is still a little bit kind of croaky sounding. We've got the option token for what is that? Gradius's option. Gradius Gradius makes an option token, right? Um, because you know Gradius is a huge meta card. We got another grave there. The nice thing about these sets is you do get just loads of supers, and some of the supers are pretty good. Um, they can be worth a fair chunk. We've got King of the Swamp. And we got Nimble Beaver. King of the Swamp, also a really good reprint. That was like a ridiculously expensive card. I think commons were going for like eight bucks um, when this set came out. Because was this... This would have been right after uh, Telement was a thing, I'm pretty sure. Because that's why Nimble Beaver is in here, because of Sprite. Uh, and Telement was playing King of the Swamp as an option, and still does actually. Um, and it had no business being as expensive as it was, so. All right, two ultis in to our potential 10 or more ulti pack opening. It's kind of crazy to be able to get guaranteed ultis for you guys. Like normally, you know, you open some loose packs maybe, you, you're not guaranteed anything, but we are pretty much guaranteed some crazy hits today, <laughs> and that is awesome. I think if I... So there's there's kind of three main cards that I'm hoping for. Um, an Imperm, a TTT, or a Triple Tactics Thrust, and a Zeus. If I can hit those three, or, or realistically any of those three, because it is not guaranteed that I'll get any of them, um, then I will be stoked. If we can get multiple of them, like we've got multiple rays in this box, then that will be absolutely insane and that would be a nice little reward for the 1000 subscribers because those are obviously the those are the ultis that you want to see they are the most expensive um of course the ultis in this set are nice but they're more archetype specific i guess with the exclusion of uh winter cherries but um ray and aluba definitely are archetype specific so these packs are just wanting to fight me Okay, we've just destroyed that pack. That's okay. As long as we don't destroy the cards, we're good. Uh, the F on there. We are getting down in the, our first box. At least, it is quite quick going through these... Oh, jeez, I skipped right to... It is quite quick going through the OTS packs, just because there is only three cards per pack. You know, there's not a whole lot for us to be looking at in each pack. And it is nice that the ulti is positioned at the back, so we can just you know we don't have to do a pack trick or anything like that just in case so 
I know in, I think in some of the older sets, like the Astral Packs, the ulti is at the front, which is kind of, kind of annoying. Uh, Mime's Elephant, and we got the Sizo there. Probably got about, mm, 10 packs left, I would say. Um, can we get that third ulti? Or are we just going to get two rays out of this box? <laughs> I mean, hey, I know there's more Sky Striker support coming out. Uh, it's just been announced for uh, Battles of Legend Terminal Revenge. Uh, that, you know, we'll be getting some of the previously OCG exclusive archetype, uh, OCG exclusive Sky Striker cards. So it might not be a bad time to be pulling ulti rays, to be honest. But, uh, you know, if we could get one more ulti, that would be pretty nice. So a nice Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries for your boy, because that's actually a card that I can play on occasion um saw a bit of play when again when telement was a thing because you could play a kit Colossus in your extra deck and then banish it with winter cherries and then i believe your opponent has to banish all their copies as well so it was a pretty sweet little oh we've got an indent okay we have another ulti i think what's it gonna be come on winter cherries yo it's winter cherries nice that's sweet I do, I do really enjoy the ulti foiling on this, like the crisscross pattern in the background. That is awesome. Alright, that's a sweet hit. Three ultis in our first box, we'll definitely take that, even if two of them are the same. That's still a huge win. So, that starts us off really well on our, on our quest for pulling ultis, because we have three when we could have potentially only gotten two, so yeah, we'll definitely take that. It's a little unfortunate that we can see the indents coming, but that's okay. So, on to our next set here. OTS pack 19. So this one, we're on the hunt ugh, for the ultimate rare skill drain. That would be that would be where I want to be hitting um, from this set. Uh, the other ultimate rares are Fallen of Albaz, continuing the branded Despia support uh, in ulti. And Water Enchantress. Um, ooh, that's good for Edison. Yeah, Caius is actually worth a few bucks from this set. So the more Caius is the pull, the, the better, really. I'll be, I'll be happy with that. Gauze is a nice reprint as well as Destrudo. So this could be a pretty decent set for just the commons and supers. Um, and then the third... Yeah, I, I did mention the third ulti is Water Enchantress. So Skill Drain or Water Enchantress out of the set realistically would be, would be great. Um, both of them are reasonably playable cards in not just one deck. Uh, Fallen of Albaz is still pretty nice, and I think actually probably worth a little bit more at the moment than Water Enchantress. Um, I, I could be wrong on that. You'll see the prices as we pull them on the screen. Probably just going to do prices for the ultimate rares, not so much for the super rares, uh, just because there will be a million and one super rares <laughs> after doing all of these boxes. Um, so yeah. We are on the quest out of the set for a skill drain and a water enchantress. If we could get those two ultis or two of one of them, I would be pretty stoked. So let's see what we can do. We got the Gandiva and the Hercules Beetle. I forgot that that was in here. Um, Hercules Beetle, of course. I think this was around the time of... Was this the one that Quagar Hercules was in? Or was that one a little bit earlier? That might have been a little earlier. Um, when Bee Trooper was a thing, and so they just decided, oh, we'll just chuck um, the Hercules Beetle in here. Why not? Um, oh, this has snow in it, so this must have been around the time of... Uh, I think just after snow got banned. I'm pretty sure snow got banned when this one came out, because everyone was kind of memeing on it. And I think the same with Red Reboot too, actually, that we just saw in the common... I think that was when they both got banned. <laughs> so it was just like, ah, sweet. You've got two banned cards in an OTS set. Um, yeah, so this must have been around December 2022, if I recall correctly. I could just have looked up when these sets all came out, but, you know, that, envi that involves a bit of forethink forethought. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> After doing this for two years, you'd think I'd be able to talk, but apparently not. Anywho, we are, oh, I see an indent, we've got an ulti here, we've got Excalibur, we've got Swamp Battle Guard, come on, let's be a skill drain or, or a water enchantress, yo, it's a water enchantress, yes sir, look at that, that is stunning, oh man, I'm, 
I should be selling these ultis, but I think I'm going to have to keep a few of them because they just look so damn nice. And you know, it's my 1000 subscriber special, so it'd be cool to keep a few cards that we pull from this as a memento. So far, so good. We've got three ultis out of our first box and one of the ultis that I wanted out of the second box, so we are... Uh, we're doing well. I, now, I, I don't imagine that we're going to be able to make any money back off these um, because OTS boxes are expensive. Unless we pull like three imperms from the imperm box, um, I don't think it's possible. But it doesn't matter. We're, we're kind of just here for the fun of it today. Um, it is, of course, a momentous occasion. To be opening for our 1000 subscriber special um so if i haven't mentioned it in the last two minutes thank you guys <laughs> thank you for watching thank you for tuning in thank you for supporting the channel um and you know if, if this is your first video of mine that you're seeing welcome feel free to join up with the subscription get involved in the card spot videos um more than welcome odd eyes dissolve are there so let's see because we've only pulled one ulti so far, I'm kind of feeling like maybe this is a two ulti box. But, I mean, who knows until we reach the end of it. Um, but man, that Water Enchantress is a nice looking ulti. Alright. What else do we have in here? Lone Fire. This has actually got quite a few good reprints for Edison. Uh, Lone Fire, Gauze, Caius. Forbidden Chalice technically can be played in Edison, although it's not very common. Uh, Night Assailant's a good goat card, and there's the Forbidden Chalice that we were just talking about. Hey now, don't be doing that to me. Why don't you open nicely, please? Alright, what do we got in this one? Skullcrabat Joker, Hercules Beetle, and Odd Eyes Dissolver in that one. On to the next one. It is really weird to be opening such small packs. Gotta really try and not destroy the cards that are in them, because the pack is so flimsy. Um, and these ones are quite... T quite... I want to say tough, sticky, the, the glue doesn't seem to want to separate at the top of the pack, so it's, uh, you know, it's really testing my skills as a pack opener. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we've got hiding in here, we've got the Swamp Battle Guard, Kuwagata A, and the DD Burfamet, not really sure why DD Burfamet needed a reprint, I, I don't even think that DD decks play it, I could be, I could be entirely wrong though, there. Um, what do you guys think of the lighting? Uh, this is the full, the new lighting setup in full effect really. Generally I try and record during the daytime, um, just because obviously natural light is always better. But I kind of thought this one could be cool to record at night with the, with the whole lighting setup. We've got the, oh yo, there we go. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. The ulti skill train. That's so sweet. Yeah, we're sleeving that guy up. So we got two ultis so far out of this box and two of them ultis that I want. So, you know, that is absolutely awesome. We're, we're doing really well. I mean, there's still a few packs left. Could we potentially see another ulti in here? We'll have to just keep opening and find out. Um, yeah, nice. This is, uh, this is fun. We should open OTS packs more often. I'll, I'll have to see if I can find some more. Be cool to open some OTS 24, which is the brand new one. Obviously, we opened a few um, single packs of it at the start of the video, but uh, or loose packs, I should say. Um, but yeah, so the lighting setup put a bit of work into getting some decent lights, uh, which hopefully are paying off. Um, it definitely, I think, looks better for the cards here. Um, my face cam might be a little dim. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments what you reckon about the lights. We got the Wisdom Eye, we got a Lone Fire, and a Mask Token. Because, you know, COVID is a thing, and so... <laughs> mask Tokens, right? Wisdom Eye, Skull Cravat Joker, and King Dark. Urgh, there we go. Busting our way into that one. Thousand Blades, Swamp Battle Guard, and another King Dark there. Into the next one see what's hiding in here we got the simp amplifier no yeah it was simp ampl amplifier there we go kind of right kind of not but you know you don't tune in for accurate speech right because <laughs> otherwise you're going to be severely disappointed at this channel 
I, I don't know how to talk. It's it's a miracle. Um, Kuwagata Alpha, Lone Fire Blossom, and Odd Dissolver. All right, is there a third ulti hiding in here just to absolutely stonk it, just to knock it out of the park? Not in that one. That's just a Pain Painter. Remember when Pain Painter came out? I think that was... Was it Generation Force? Was Pain Painter a Generation Force card, or was it slightly before then? I remember being hyped for zombie support, and then it was just kind of average. Um, uh, yeah, I think it was Generation Force, or around that time anyway. It might have been slightly before or slightly after. That was a, that was a long time ago. <laughs> that was, jeez, was that like 2011? Yeah, probably, because I think the first set of 2012 was Order of Chaos. So I think Generation Force was 2011, that was when Xyz monsters got introduced. Kind of crazy that we've gone so long without a new monster type, right? Like, we have... we had Synchro monsters introduced in 2008, and then Xyz monsters got introduced three years later, and then I believe Pendulum monsters got introduced three years later after that in 2014, and then Lynx, I think... Oh, there we go! One of each ulti in this box! Fallen of Albaz, so far three from three in each of our boxes. So <laughs> that is awesome. No doubles in this box either. Just a, a cheeky little Fallen of Albaz. Let's let's move these over so we can display six on a on a row, uh, so that we can keep track of what we got. And we got one more pack left. Well, I mean, this is where I should sell it, right? And do like a one of those shady loose or uh, OTS pack sales because we know that all the ultis are pulled but we don't do that here on this channel we just we open everything imagine if there was a fourth ulti hidden in here that would be insane but that's okay it is just a forbidden chalice alrighty next up OTS pack 18 this is the pack that has Zeus so that's what we're gunning for in this pack uh, ulti Zeus that would be amazing. I would be so stoked with an ulti Zeus. The other ultis in this pack are Dogmatica, Fl Ecclesia the Virtuous, not Flirtily, it's Ecclesia, and Fusion Destiny, which is still pretty decent. Um, it did just get reprinted into Oblivion though, it just had its first common reprint uh, in Battles of Legend Chapter 1. So, you know, the Zeus is the big value holder in this set, so if we could pull one or two of those, that would be pretty sweet. We've got the Vampire Retainer, Kage Mucha Knight, but come on Zeus, this is this is where, you know, for your boy, some nice ultis. I do, ultis are my favorite rarity, so if there are ultis of, you know, cards like Zeus that are playable, uh, I will definitely be keeping them. Um, I think at the moment, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, Water Enchantress and Skill Drain are all definitely sticking around in my collection. Um, the Fallen of Albaz, the Sky Striker cards, yeah, they'll probably make their way <laughs> onto the card spot website. Um, Token Collector and that one. Oh boy, if we could get a Zeus, I would be so stoked. I would be, I'd be ecstatic. Be, yeah, over the moon. So, come on. A Zeus for your boy is the first, the first decent ulti, or the first, uh, kind of high value ulti, I guess. Um, it's, it's still over like $30 US, so it does have the, uh, quarter century secret rare print from, I think it's Battles of Legend Monstrous Revenge. I'm pretty sure it's that one. Um, so, you know, it, it does have a technically higher rarity printing, but in my eyes, ulti is the highest, it's the nicest, so that's what we're after. Got the Dark Magical Circle and the Baby Cerasaurus. So it's a slow start to this one as well. I can't believe, like, the the ray that we pulled uh, off the top, um, it's like, basically straight away from OTS 20. Pretty insane. Uh, we got Dverg of the Nordic Dark Magical Circle and another baby Cerasaurus. So in this one, the Monk of the Tenny is actually a reasonably decent super. It's worth uh, about a dollar. Oh, yo! <laughs> Sorry, headphone users. We got him! Oh, sick. That actually has, like, a lot of foil shift, too. Look at the stars. They are not centered at all. You can really tell on the uh, attribute there. Camera is not wanting to focus. But I'll take it. We got the Zeus! Yo! Let's go! Zeusy boy! There he is. 
Divine Arsenal A as a Sky Thunder with a pretty sick foil shift. Honestly, I don't care. I'm stoked. The foil shift just gives some character. Oh, that is awesome. The Zeus. Yo, that's the guy. That's the boy that we're after. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, jeez. Uh, I mean, I'll take another one, but it, it actually now... Probably Fusion Destiny is, is kind of where I want to go because that's kind of playable. Um, it's, it's obviously very playable in Hero Deck still, uh, but even outside of that, um, you can include the Destiny Hero package in other decks. Got the Ogdotic token, which actually might need to be used when the Riker archetype comes out because that can do crazy things um, intertwined with the Ogdotics. Contact C there. I can't believe we got the Zeus. <laughs> that is so cool oh so lucky i uh, yeah i'm stoked because that is one of the big three cards that i wanted zeus imperm and triple tactic thrust so if we can get if we can get those three i mean i am stoked but honestly just any of them that we can get even if we don't get all three we've got the zeus and that is a great start that is huge and we still have like half of this box to go and we still have two full boxes of OTS packs to go so uh, yeah what a video guys um hopefully you're enjoying this as much as I am it's just seeing ulti after ulti pulled has surely got to be a bit of fun right that's at least what I was thinking when I was putting this video idea together oh man what a absolute stonker Zeusy boy I am going to be just making Zeus all the time. Like, inopportune moments for Zeus? Nah, I'll make him, because he's ulti. <laughs> just to slap him down on the field. Chuck a Zeus down on the haters. Blow the field. They don't have any cards? It's fine, I'll blow up my own cards. <laughs> just want to use the ulti Zeus. Oh dear. Alright. Still got a fair few packs of this set to go. We got a Pika Felina there. Big Insecta fan. Unfortunately, Pika Felina did get a super rare reprint in uh, Grand Creators, which I can't remember which came out first. I think it might have been this. Uh, what is this? OTS 18. No, it might have been Grand Creators, actually. Jeez, I, I, my memory is terrible. Um, I can remember when like core sets came out-ish. But OTS packs? Nah, <laughs> that's not a skill I possess. All right, we got the Contact C. <sighs> this might be just a two ulti box, but that's okay. We got Zeus. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. We got the Break Sword there. Oh man, and then we've done well so far. Jeez, can I Urgh, get this open? Um, we've done well with two, three ulti boxes um, so far. So yeah. I can't complain at all, even if this is a two ulti box. We we came into this, I, or I came into this thinking that I would get 10 ultis, hoping for maybe 11, you know, but 10 being the the minimum because of two per box. Uh, but we're, we're probably going to blast that out of the water. I mean, we already have seven and we're two and a half boxes in. We're kind of halfway at this stage. So, oh, we've got something here. We've got an ulti here. We got the Celestial, we got the Silent Boots, and the Dogmatica Ecclesia the Virtuous. That is a pretty stunning looking ulti as well, to be honest. Unfortunately, I think it's the lowest value one in the set, and the foil shift is pretty intense on that top border, but still a really beautiful card. The, yeah, the foiling on this does, I mean, look at that. Like the ray, the sun rays coming down. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. The little swirl at the bottom there. That's still a really beautiful looking ulti. Okay, could we go three from three? Could we get three ultis from all three boxes? That would be pretty insane. I believe last time we opened OTS boxes, we only got two per box, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that was when we pulled like Super Poly and Book of Moon. There were some slightly older um, OTS sets. If you want to check that out, um, Check the annotation above or you know just wait till this video finishes i might put it as the recommended video at the end just because ots is ots is right everyone loves to see ots packs open 
even though you know what's in them, it's just still cool to see the ultis coming out of the pack, right? Like, I always love watching, when I watch other pack openers, um, I always love them doing old OTS packs for the, for the ultis. Ultis are just so beautiful. <laughs> I'm a full-on ulti addict, right? Angela Mystif, Dverg, and Breaksword. Oh, we're marching on here through our packs. Just as we marched to the 1000k mark, I, I can't believe that we have hit it. We are, we are just, what a strong old army of, of supporters you guys are. Thank you very much for believing in your boy, following your boy. We got the Retainer. Ghost Trick, Angel of Mischief, and a Token Collector. Getting down to our last few packs. I think this is probably going to be our first box where we only pull two ultis, but that's okay because we got Zeus. I would feel a bit hard done by if we only got two ultis and they were both ones that I didn't really want. That would be a bit rough, but we've got the two, or we've got the one big one that I wanted out of this box, so I cannot complain. Two more packs to go of the beautifully green tournament pack 18. We got the Ch Talismandra. Vampire Retainer and Monk of the Tenny, still a decent super. And our last pack of OTS 18. What is hiding in here? We got the Pencil Plume, Vampire Familiar, and the Destiny Hero Dasher. Alrighty, moving on to the most recent of the OTS packs that we have to open today. OTS 22, featuring such huge cards as Branded Fusion as an ulti. Triple Tactics Thrust is an ulti, and Per Lily is an ulti as well. So we we don't want the Per Lily, uh, basically is the rule of thumb here. We want the Thrust, that would be the huge one that I'd be after. Um, or, I mean, we'd take the Branded Fusion. Um, we really would, because that's still a decent card. And although it's an archetype exclusive card, it's a, it's a pretty big one. Um, it's a pretty important one. They play three of it. So yeah, we'd take that. Um, but the thrust is where we want to be. We want to be thrusting for thrust here. Uh, we've got the Galaxy 100. A thrust is just... It's not actually seeing a huge amount of play this format. Um, more the talents than the thrust. Um, because just looking at your opponent's hand and seeing what they've got is so strong. But... You know, it's still a great card, and uh, getting some juicy ultis of that to add to my collection would be pretty awesome. Uh, we got the boars. I don't know why boars got a reprint in here. It's kind of random. Uh, just like, eh, chuck a boars in there right now. He hasn't seen any play. He hasn't been printed in a while. So, Titanic Moth and some of the pearly cards are pretty good. But yeah, there's some. There's also some pretty random stuff um, in here. We've got the branded Lost as the super in that one. Going right along into the next pack of Emperor Charles, R.I.P. to the to the uh, Infernoble deck, losing out losing out its um, uh, I sold right yeah, losing out its I sold uh, clear new world. So we did have a few of these to open at the start. Oh, we've got an ulti here. We've got an ulti here. It's the Sync Realm. It's Evo Force. Yo, yes, yes. Triple Tactics Thrust, we're doing so well! Oh, and I'm probably destroying headphone users' ears, but I am pulling the ultis that I want, and that is awesome, and that is a beautiful card. Honestly, like, it's actually not a bad looking ultra if you saw our Maze of Millennia opening where you get one per case. Um, but it's a much better looking ulti, that is definitely the most beautiful version of that card. Oh, stoked! So we got the Zeus and the Thrust. Can we get the Imperm to complete the three big cards that I was hoping for out of these boxes? That would be absolutely insane. We're going to have to wait to see. We've got OTS Pack 17 as our last OTS box. Oh, guys, what an insane opening. This is crazy. So many ultis. So little time. We've got the Clear New World. I'm trying to move through this reasonably quickly because it is going to be a long video and uh you know i'm always about not taking up too much of your time if you click on one of my videos i want you to be able to enjoy it and not have to kind of be like oh got skipped to the unchained abomination not to have to worry about how long it's going to take or anything like that all right we've got the titanic moth we've got the summon limit and the horn of the elephant 
Oh, it's got him. Got a bit of hiccups going on. I'm trying to try and battle through that. Emperor Charles, Najasha, and Clear New World. I feel like we've pulled just about a million Clear New Worlds. Is that is that fair to say? <laughs> I feel like that's just way more common to pull than the other supers in this set, but I could be wrong. Can we get another thrust? That would be awesome. Uh, two thrusts out of one box. Um, obviously we got the two rays out of one box, so it can be done, but perhaps it's a little harder to do with the more recent OTS sets. I, I don't know. As I mentioned, the quality control from those slightly earlier ones is a bit rough. Uh, so who knows? But we're going to keep marching on and see what we can get. But the huge thrust is amazing. You know, thrust for thrust. That's the that's the line for this video. Uh, Evo diversity. Kind of cool seeing Evoltiles getting support after so long. It's just a shame that it was still trash. That deck is just perpetually cursed to be not that great. Uh, but, you know, shout out to my mate Brad for trying to make them work. But not really having a huge amount of success unfortunately it's a really cool idea like i love the way that they kind of evolve as you play them um you know the evil tiles evolve into evil saws and then the evil saws evolve into evil czars and they go from reptile to dinosaur to dragon um but in this day and age that kind of play style is just way too slow when some of their better cards are flip effects it's like oh man yeah y'all don't know what you're doing um but yeah so r.i.p the evils i guess going extinct before their time but, man we got the we, oh we've got a we've got an ulti here unfortunately we have seen the border so we know that it's a pearl lily still a really cool looking ulti honestly like the patterning on the back there is really nice um so unfortunately not worth a huge amount pearl lily like went down basically straight away uh, but, you know, it's still a, a really nice looking card for the pearly fans among us. Um, can we get a third ulti out of these packs? It's probably a little, a little hard to say. We've got not the most amount of packs left, um, but we'll have to wait and see. I was kind of just lost in my thoughts about evils when that pearl lily came along. But I can't even be mad, you know. We'll we'll take the Pearl Lily because we also got the thrust, so it all works out in the end, right? Unfortunately, in this set, there's not actually many great supers. When I say great supers, I mean that are worth a lot. It's just the uh, runic dispelling that's worth kind of not even a dollar um, US. So it's kind of like eh, not 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 the best, but still. We got the Pompoko there. You don't need great supers when you're pulling great ultis, right? When you're pulling thrusts, you, you don't need them. Who needs those guys? We got the Galaxy 100 there. On to our next pack. Can we get a third ulti out of this box? That would be pretty awesome. We got the Branded Lost. Still got a few packs. There's still, still a chance. Um, I don't shuffle these packs up when I, when I open the boxes. I am just kind of... I just split them in half and, and go from there. Um, I don't know if it's mappable uh, in OTS boxes where the foils are. So I'm just kind of going in blind really. But if they are, let me know. Um, we got the Pompoko there. Probably down to our last four-ish packs from this box. Still time for another ulti, you know. We, we, we're not running out of time just yet. But... Man, a thrust and a Zeus, kind of crazy. The two, two cards that we, that I really wanted, uh, and we get the them in the two pack boxes. It's like even less chance of getting them, and we still manage to pull them. That's insane. <clears throat> we got the Pompoko there. I feel like my voice is starting to go hoarse. But we got one more pack of OTS 22 Hero of the Abyss. Evil Town Jasho and a Nimble Angler. All right, OTS pack 17. A possibility at infinite impermanence as an ultimate rare. Can we do it? We got the Sah Sahasra <laughs> Flawless Perfection of the Tenyi. The other ultis in this set are the Blackluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, which is the Link Monster, uh, and number 39 Utopia randomly. We definitely don't want Utopia. <laughs> I actually do have a Utopia already. 
um, that I've been trying to sell and I can't get rid of that guy for love nor money. It's not a great card. These packs are also really loose. It actually makes them really hard to open. We got the Wonder Magician and the Great Emperor Penguin. In this one, super wise, there's not really great supers. Resonance Insect is kind of the best of the bunch at around a dollar US. Um, of course, that will see a bit of play in the Riker archetype in the insect version of that deck. So that's something, I guess. But realistically here, we're on the hunt for that infinite impermanence. If we, if we get the infinite impermanence, we have completed the trilogy. We've completed the three cards that I was after. We got the Dragonfly, the Wonder Magician, and the Cyber Dragon Nova. And I also realized, as of opening the last box, OTS 22, we now have 10 ultis. The 10 ultis that I was hoping to pull, um, we now have pulled 10 of them. So honestly, anything that we pull now is just cream. So we started out really well. Oh, we've got, oh no. Oh no, I know which one this is. We've got an ulti here and it's number 39 Utopia. Oh no. I mean, it's cool, but it's not that cool. And the centering is really bad. Look at that, it's got thick left side, thick top, and skinny right side, and skinny bottom. Uh, and we don't want skinny bottoms. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll chuck that there. So, we got the Utopia. That, that, it's okay. It's all okay if we can get the Imperm. That's, that's what we're here for. In this last set, the Imperm would be the biggest pull of the night. Look at these munted packs. They're just jammed in the box. And the packs are so loose. Hopefully the cards aren't damaged inside. The Imperm would be the biggest pull of the night. And we've saved, hopefully, the best for last in that regard. I'm trying to save the biggest pull for for last. I mean, the, we've still got some really awesome pulls in the, uh, da, of the yeah, Dark Revelations 3 ba boosters. Jeez. Talking is so hard. But an Imperm here would be insane. Let's be honest. Can we get the Imperm for your boy as we dig our way through these OTS 17 packs? Imperm would be... That would be amazing. I have currently two Prismatic ultis from Rarity Collection. And uh, I've been thinking of, do I get a third Prismatic ulti? Or do I try and pull a real ulti from OTS 17? So that... If we can do that tonight, or today, or whatever time you're watching this, I'm recording this at night, obviously, because it is dark. That would be insane. We got Painful Decision, we got Insecta Dragonfly, and the brave little penguin. Little Pingu. Noot, noot. Shout out to Pingu Enjoyers. <laughs> Alright, Utopian Aura, Dark Samorg, and Vessel for the Dragon Cycle. Dark Samorg is a pretty cool card. I think it's kind of playable in Edison. Um, it's, it's hard, it's not a lot of, you have to build a whole deck around it, which I don't think is too great, but still, these packs are really hard to open, jeez, it's really testing my skills not to destroy the cards. We've got Marin, we got another Dark Smog and a Resonance Insect, I feel like we're getting like the same two commons in Marin and, and Dark Smog in a lot of these packs. Um, bit of clumping going on perhaps. There we go, Wonder Magician's different, T Utopian Aura, and Penguin Brave. I'm guessing we're going to go ahead and get only two ultis from this pack as well, uh, from this box. Jeez, munted that pack. Um, but we will see. Dragonfly, Penguin Soldier. It seems like the ones that have good ultis in them, high value ultis, we've only got two from those boxes, right? Like Zeus and Thrust. Um, whereas the other two we got three each so I wonder if that's a way of being like yeah these ultis aren't so great but of course they're probably not to know that at the time I remember like Fallen of Elbaz at the time that it came out was a pretty high value ulti um, sort of around the what would it be like $30 US mark I think it's dropped down a lot it doesn't help that it was in rarity collection um, and so got reprinted as a prismatic ulti and a quarter century secret rare and all that. So if you're wanting the highest uh, rarity Fallen of Elbaz, it's actually the probably the quarter century secret rare now. So kind of hurts the ulti value a bit, I guess. Anywho, we are not in OTS 19 where Fallen of Elbaz is. We're in 17 where Infinite Impermanence is. We've got the Utopia, we've got the bad one out of the way. 
The imperm is where we're where we're looking next. Oh, could this be? We've got we've got an ulti here, I think. Is it the imperm? Yo, let's go! We got it! Oh my god, I'm still I'm dying, I'm coughing, but we got it, ladies and gentlemen. We got the ulti imperm. We got all three of the big ultis that I was after. We got the thrust. We got the imperm. I'm struggling to get it in the sleeve because I'm trying to be really careful with it. We got the thrust. We got the imperm. We got the Zeus. We got them all, ladies and gentlemen. 12 ultis. 12 ultis from five boxes. That is huge. And I got all of the three big ulti hits that I was hoping for. I am stoked. I didn't think that was possible, but hey, maybe it's just a little treat for our thousand subscriber video. We got huge ultis in this. Guys, if you haven't already, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, you're not part of the thousand people that have subscribed, surely that's worth a subscribe, right? We're pulling huge ultis here. Surely that's worth a subscribe. Oh my God. Zeus, Thrust, Imperm, huge cards today, absolutely ginormous pulls, this is insane, I, I'm lost for words, we're just, we're just out here doing it today, we're just absolutely cranking, jeez, I'm just checking that everything's recording, cause man, that would suck if it's not, <laughs> if we're just all of a sudden dropped, dropped out, that would be rough, but no, and we've still got a few packs to go here in these horrendous loose packs. I feel like we didn't even admire the artwork of Imperm long enough. Like, that is a beautiful card. All the rays coming down from the sun there. That's insane. I feel like the camera doesn't really do it justice, but yeah, really stunning looking ulti. Anyway, back to opening this pack. But you've got to enjoy the ultis, right? That's what they're there for. You've got to really make the most of the artwork because man they, some of them are so cool and honestly per lily i'm still I'm still looking at that peeking out there you kind of can't see it because it's covered by a bit of glare but it's still a really good looking ulti as well could we have a third ulti in this could we get the bls could we get a second imperm hopefully we don't get a second utopia but i mean i'll take it i'm not going to complain about about a third ulti in this set We've pulled the Imperm that I was hoping for. I now have a weird set of one ulti Imperm and two prismatic ulti Imperms. But here we are. Oh man, what an opening. This has been a lot of fun. And it's been a lot of fun getting here. It's been, uh, it's been an absolute journey getting to a thousand subscribers. Um, it's, been, it's had its highs and lows for sure. Um, but yeah, it's been an absolute ride and, uh, I don't regret it for the world. It's been so good. So can we go out on a high with a third ulti? That would be absolutely insane as my voice starts to get really hoarse and it's not even over yet. We still have the ultimate edition two to be opening or is it three? I can't remember, but it's dark revelations, three packs. All right. Where is our third ulti going to be? I'm, I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling pretty confident. We have a few packs left. We've already pulled two, so we're, we're looking good. If we could pull a third, that would be pretty sweet. But I'm also not going to complain. I'm not going to be sad about it if we don't. Because, honestly, I've pulled the three that I wanted to pull. We pulled 12 ultis so far. And... I was only expecting 10 so yeah I really can't complain at all what a huge what a huge huge opening guys card spot hitting 1,000 subscribers who would have thought eh look at us <laughs> hey look at us like the Paul Rudd meme who would have thought not me but we're here and we're loving every second of it all right as we wind down our last few OTS packs here, is there an ulti hiding in these last few? That would be pretty crazy. These terribly sealed, very loose packs. We got the Great Emperor Penguin again. So many penguins in the set. Three packs to go by the looks of it. Come on, is there a, a cheeky little ulti hiding in here for the last 
last couple of packs. Come on now. Where are you? Oh, oh sheesh. Oh sheesh, there's an ulti in this one. We got the Junk Synchron. We got the Fenrir Sword and we got the Black Lost Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. Another really nice looking ulti and that is one of each of the ultis in this set. So we went three boxes, had three ultis in them, two had two. <laughs> Insane, to making a total of 13 ultimate rares that we've pulled in this video. Wow, that's all I can say is wow. Got the last pack, the Cyber Dragon Nova, and that is it. Five boxes of OTS packs. So we, we're just going to go through the ultis that we got. So we got two, from OTS 20, we got two Ray and a Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. From 19, we got a Water Enchantress, we got a Fallen of Albaz, and we got a Skill Drain. From uh, 18, we got a Ecclesia the Virtuous, and we got a Zeus. From 22, we got the Pearl Lily, and we got the Thrust. And from 17, we got Utopia, we got Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, and we got the Infinite Impermanence. Holy wow. We got all three huge hits that I was after. I feel so lucky right now. I, I can't even lie. In our 1,000 subscriber special, we are just stonking it. Let's just spread these out across the top there. It's kind of rough, but it's, it's good enough. And let's get into our last few packs. So here we have it. Just to remind you, we have the Ultimate Edition 2. It comes with a sealed promo of Dragon Master Knight, which I will be keeping sealed. There's not really any point in opening that. And two sealed boosters of Dark Revelation Volume 3. It feels really weird to be opening this. I've never opened anything this old before. Uh, well, not on the channel anyway. Obviously, I've opened things this old when I was playing that long ago, but I'm going to move these ultis out of the way so that they don't get hurt. We're just going to sweep them up and put them to the side for now. And we're going to dig into this guy. Um, let's have a look at the back. It's just a big old... Bla uh, what is this guy called? Dragon Master Knight. There we go. Dragon Master Knight, I guess it had a price on here back in the day. Insane. So we're going to take some scissors to this and, and get into them. So the big cards in this set, obviously the creator, as you can see on the front. Uh, Dark, uh, no, Nephthys, Sacred, Sacred Phoenix Nephthys. Uh, Ancient Gear Golem. Um... Elemental Hero Flame Wingman, Elemental Hero Thunder Giant, Horus the Black Flame Dragon level 8. Yeah, there's some really, really big pulls in here, so this is one to get hyped for. Of course, they are only available as Ultra Rares. There is no Ultimate Rares in this, in this printing, but still. And some of these cards in this set, grr, are worth a lot of money. I'm going to have to snip off that top bit as well. Um, I... Dark Revelations 3, I believe, was quite hard to get. I don't think it had a hugely wide release. And I think 4 is even harder to get. Some of the prices for cards in Dark Revelations 4 are insane. I'm just going to have to do this without hitting my camera. I'm just going to... I'm going to slide this out. And get rid of the plastic. Oh, there's a booklet in the back. What? What is this? What have we got here? Ultimate Dueling Guide. Yo, let's have a peruse of this. Table of Contents. We've got... Oh, man. The old starter decks. Starter deck Yugi. L.O.B. Metal Raiders. Spell Ruler. Pharaoh's Servant. We've got Labyrinth of Nightmare down there. We've got starter deck Joey and Pegasus. Down there we've got Leg... Uh, Le yeah, ugh, Legacy of Darkness. Jeez. Like I said, I can't talk. Got Ancient, a uh, Pharaonic Garden there, sorry. Magician's Force down there. Dark Crisis and Invasion of Chaos. Just kind of recapping, I guess, all of the original boosters. Ancient Sanctuary. And then Into Soul of the Duelist. Rise of Destiny and Flaming Eternity, which is where we start to see some of the cards for this set from. Uh, and then Into the Lost Millennium. Cybernetic Revolution. 
and over here to Elemental Energy and Duelist Pack Chaz. So I'm kind of surprised that they had Duelist Pack Chaz already in 2006. Shadow of Infinity, Enemy of Justice, Power of the Duelist, Cyberdark Impact, and then coming up for, I guess, power-ups for the for different decks. You've got Cyberdark, Dark World. <laughs> this is so cool. Like, I'm gonna hold on to this, I think. This is a this is a piece of history. Oh, and we've got the full set list. Here we go. This can be what we can pull. Um, but we won't spend too long on that. Um, set abbreviations, what they all mean. That's kind of cool. The road to becoming a master duelist. WannaDuel.com. Get into it. Master it. Level up. That is cool. That's a that's a blast from the past. I'm going to be holding on to that. But for now, we have packs to open. We've got two packs. We've got the Dragon Master Knight. They're stuck to this um, piece of paper, which is kind of a shame. I think I'm going to keep this piece of paper too. That is some old looking glue right there. There's not a lot of stick left in it. But we're going to keep that in its in its foil in its seal but that is a sweet looking card we'll put that up there for now then we have the two packs is the glue gonna stick hard for these no that's cool one and two nice and that's yeah that's like a sweet poster um and then you've got the little flap there okay i was i think it was in november 2006 so i was 11 years old i'm now older than that <laughs> In case you were wondering, the beard might have given it away. All right, this feels really wrong, but but we're gonna do it. I don't know where the foil is. Oh, of course, they're the old style packs, so we got to do the pinch and pull at the top. Um, yeah, no idea where the foil is in these, but here we go. We managed to open that pack quite nicely. We've got one more there. There's 12 cards per pack, so maybe I'll do, if we assume it's at the back, no, oh, no, we'll just open one, we'll just open one. We got Moki Moki King, Guardian Statue, Element Doom, I'd be stoked if we can get like a Flame Wingman or a Thunder Giant, that would be insane. Bastinatrix, Golem Sentry, <gasps> Hyrako Sphinx, so that was five cards in. So that's a super. In these old sets, supers are not guaranteed. So that that's actually something. That's awesome. Do we have a rare as well? No, we don't. Okay. We'll just I'm just gonna sleeve this. Because it's Haruko Sphinx, I don't think it's gonna be worth a lot. But it's going on a sleeve anyway because it's it's a foil, and I, I thought we'd probably just get two rares out of here. So we got Gorgon's Eye, Spell Purification, Pikaru's Second Sight. Impenetrable Formation, Back to Square One, and Battery Charger. Okay, so we now know that we need to put six to the front. Oh, there's still a bit of, a bit of glue stuck on this guy. Guys, this is our last pack of the Cardspot 1,000 1, subscriber special, not 100,000 subscribers. That'll be in a little while. 1,000 subscriber special. We have pulled some insane ulties. We've already pulled a foil from Dark Revelation 3. We're going to go into our last pack here of an 18-year-old set of Dark Revelation 3. I'm going to slide these guys out, and we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the front. And let's see what we got. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Triangle Ecstasy's Park, we spoiled it! No! It was six in the last pack! You saw it! You saw it! Ah, oh, <laughs> what a letdown. But hey, two super rares. Two super rares in two packs. That's actually insane. These, these packs were super expensive, and I will no way make my money back, but... Two super rares is actually really good. Unfortunately, neither of them are very good, but still. Let's go through the commons as well. We got Good Goblin Housekeeping, Mind Hexors, Furin Kazan, Lighten the Load, Fulfillment of the Contract, Flame Ruler. It's like a, a weird like scratch in there. I don't know if you can see that in the light. Howling Insect, Divine Dragon Ragnarok, 
Heavy Mech support platform, Eagle Eye, and Space Mamba. So weirdly, one was in the sixth spot in one pack and in the seventh spot in the other pack. But we got two super rares from two packs and I will take that. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've pulled 13 ultimate rares. We've pulled two 18 year old super rares. <sighs> That's all I've got for you today. That is our 1000 subscriber special wrapped up and done. If you've enjoyed the video, please feel free to subscribe. Let me know down below what you think the best ulti we've pulled is. Thank you very much. I can't say it enough for getting me to this spot where we're finally at a thousand subscribers. It is a huge milestone for me and I couldn't have done it without any of you guys liking and subscribing and watching and doing all of the good stuff that you do. Uh, so thank you very, very much from the bottom of my heart. It, it means a huge amount to me. And uh, well, I guess we're on the march to 2000 now, right? Guys, that will do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked it, you can subscribe and start us on that march to the next thousand. But for now, I've been Ethan from Cardspot, and I will see you in the next video.